week, you two. Currently, my wife and I are sitting at the 37th annual Sheep and Wool um, Fair. I'm hoping that where I'm, I'm in frame because I can't actually see my image at the moment. Um, in a very uh, short time, you're going to see some footage of a sheep herding demonstration with four dogs, three of which are experienced and one of which is kind of on the young side. Um, it isn't what you'd call riveting, but I think it's kind of interesting. I enjoy watching dogs do what they're bred to do. Um, but we're just kind of hanging out here because <laughs> through an unfortunate series of events, we're really, really early. So we're just kind of hanging out, listening to the flags, flapping the breeze behind us, waiting for our friends to arrive. Now, you might not know this, I gave her a very gentle away to me. I didn't make her go wide. I could have blown a different whistle, and she would have actually gone out, jumped the fence, and come out behind and jump back over the fence again. But I knew that in order to sweep them around properly, I had to keep her tight. Am I making sense here? Because otherwise they would have gone by. Well, they've stopped. These three dogs here are what we call inactive dogs. They're sort of looking at them, but they're not. All right? Because I, if I say one word to one of the dogs and they turn and look at them, then the sheep are going to move right there. See, and also, see how important it was that Dottie dropped right when I told her. If she had come a little further, literally, these sheep are capable of jumping the fence. So those of you with little children, hold on. No, I'm just kidding. They could. So watch what happens. So that that little move was enough to turn them the other way. That means that the pressure that Nell is now the active dog and Dottie's the active dog. Well, I want to bring the sheep over here. Nell, come here. You've got to be fast. I know you think this is terrible. This guy must beat these dogs. You've got to be instant, especially when you're trying to put them on and off the truck before you're trying to shed them. So now we're going to do it. We'll leave them there. Doc, look up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And here we have Lara, Juliet, and Felicia. Oh, hi. <laughs> and sheep. Hi, sheep. We could keep them in the yard. And here we are on the way out of the Deerfield Fairgrounds, um, having spent our most of our day wandering around looking at sheep and wool and knitting things. And we just picked up a piece of apple strudel um, to take home with us. Which better be good. Yes, which better be good because <laughs> it wasn't cheap apple strudel. Um, 
but it was quite entertaining and I got to have some fair food, some Italian sausage and uh, a frozen apple cider, which was quite good. So that was our, uh, our trip today to the 37th annual Sheep and Wolf Fair.